we uh we got your host right now at a C plus level, but we got an A plus show. Uh, sorry, apologies yesterday there. I'm still not feeling great low under the weather, but we got way too much exciting happening on Underdog to not bring it to you guys today. We got ADP and ranks toggle, like the number one ask for draft games forever. We got Underdog Sportsbook, March 11th, 12 p.m. Eastern, North Carolina. They're signing talent right and center. J.J. Zacharyson, Pat Mayo, scrolling the F down on the Lulz show the other day. The brand is going mainstream. All of that amazing stuff on Underdog. But nothing can compare to the legend himself. Keep. <laughs> he is back. He is back and he's back in the underdog black. Love it so much. I had to do I'm an intro. Cool. I got the power milk. I'm ready to go. <laughs> that is so good, man. That is so, Holy so good. Holy <laughs> crap. I had to wipe my tears off screen. Oh, dude, you you just never, never disappoint. So, so happy to have you on. I know everybody else is stoked to have you here as well man how, how how have you been it's been a while yeah i i don't know just hanging in the streets having a good time uh yeah i mean obviously i did the quit smoking thing and last cigarette i had was december 23rd and uh yeah so been going to the gym working out with my wife uh got some pipes now yeah, <laughs> yeah you do yeah you do <laughs> <laughs> let's okay let's let's start right there because uh that's a pretty special thing just in general congratulations to you um so happy that you've made that lifestyle adjustment made that switch um and underdog recognizes it and underdog wants to um do something special for you as such a valued member of the community Corey. and uh they want to do april 10th they want to name the contest after you uh, first player on the site to ever have a contest named after him. They're going to call the NBA Hoop Slate on Wednesday, April 10th, uh, the T-Box. And it's going to be 100K. <laughs> it's going to be a 100K contest that's going to be rake-free. So 100K for 100 days smoke-free. That will be then. So community is going to try and rally around you, man. And once we hit that benchmark, everybody's going to get rewarded for it. That is uh flattering insane um all all that i mean it's it's almost like uh, not that i'm dying but it's almost like you're around for the you you're around for the eulogy you know like <laughs> you, you usually usually they're you know giving you that promo or, or a charity golf outing or whatever and you know you long gone or what or whatever already so i think it's pretty cool because i've been around since uh i wouldn't say day one probably week one Mm -hmm. And yeah, I, I I know there's been a few contests named after people. Obviously, Badge Bros. You guys have had yours, and I don't know. Pretty, I, I I'm almost well. I keep talking about it. I'm kind of speechless. Really, it's <laughs> it's pretty. Good. Yeah, it's funny. It, it does kind of it's, it's it does kind of have the vibes of like the T Box Memorial. <laughs> but yeah, thankfully, yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah. the exact opposite. It's the celebration yeah. of your of of the extra life EV you just gained by making that decision, which like you know cannot be understated. How how tough that is. I mean, coming from from you, I'm sure you can. Yeah, and you know, kind of on that, it's 
how that all happened. I mean, you know, I, well, I'll turn 53 here in a couple of weeks. I've been smoking since eighth grade. And wow. I mean, that's, wow. I mean, that's a long time. Um, <laughs> and I, I mean, my mom's been passed away for quite a few decades now, but I was, it was early December and we were at my in-laws house and my, my mother-in-law goes, don't be really cool. Is if you quit smoking for me for Christmas, she goes, and I don't know. I never had any, I haven't had a lot of motherly crap in a long time. So it was like, it kind of hit hard and I'm like, yeah, what the hell? I'll give it a shot. And yeah, I, obviously my goal is to quit by Christmas day. I quit a couple of days earlier and, and been going good. And even last weekend, went to Milwaukee, visited my son and he, he was just, he's like, it's so weird. Cause he'll be, he's, he'll turn 27 this year, but I've smoked his entire life. And he goes, mm -hmm. it's just weird not having you, you know, we're out having a drink or whatever and not have to go outside to, to do what I had to do. He says, it's just, it's kind of weird. So no, I'm, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm more happy with myself than anything. And all of these things are kind of cool, but it's just, it's, it's nice to have a little bit of wind, I, you know, in, in the lungs and stuff to run on a treadmill and do that stuff. I couldn't, I couldn't do that for a long, long time. So it's, it's pretty wow. That's great, man. That's so yeah. awesome to hear. It's so awesome to hear that it stemmed from family. That's that's great too, and like just the commitment to it to like to to not double back and like stay with it. Like just speaks volumes about your character and just in general, like like the way your lifestyle has shifted over the last like you know X amount of months. The commitment to fitness now associated with that. Did those two things kind of go hand in hand for you? Yeah. Well, it's. I mean, prior to that, it would just be, I don't know, go outside every half hour and have a cigarette. But it, when, when you're not doing it, you have, it's like, what do I do with my hands? What do I do? What do I do? And, and <laughs> you know, <laughs> unfortunately, I can only max yeah. out on 150, 150 drafts. <laughs> so, um, I mean, that's, that's, you know, a lot of times done by 10 a.m. So, <laughs> so, so it's like, what, what can I do? And, and I was like, I don't know, I saw a Planet Fitness commercial um, with, I think I did, said something on twitter about this uh was it meg the stallion yeah 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 that commercial. <laughs> like, ah, fuck if it's good enough for megan and stallion it's good enough for me. <laughs> so i so i popped on in there and i i felt a little weird because i i mean other than high school i haven't been in a gym in just decades i didn't, I didn't even know what to expect and at least at Planet Fitness, majority of the people are are a bunch of me's. Um, you know, they're not a bunch of crutches and rudmans that are just you know all beef. Right. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, so it's it's a bunch of bunch of gray hairs that are out there trying to you know get a little better with themselves. And I don't know, it just it gave me something to do, and I had the I had the energy to do it. So what the what the heck, you know? Have you ever had the urge when you're in there doing your cardio, like wishing, like man, I wish I had a I had some drafts left to do, so I had something to do on this treadmill. Um, yeah, but now with that said, I, I kind of go there with my wife, so she's on the treadmill okay. next to me, and then I just be ignoring her. Um, but, <laughs> yeah, no, you can't do that. I trust yeah, you. That's but, that's not a, that's not a sustainable formula. Yeah, and I what's cool too there is they have these hydro bed things, and I have some lower back problems. So mm -hmm. a lot of times when I I send out like the high five, it's or my top five exposures or whatever. Yeah. I'm actually laying in the hydro bed, clipping it, <laughs> getting, getting and then sending it, yeah, sending it during those 10 minutes before I go hop on the treadmill before my wife gets there. So I don't know. But with that said, I have drafted, yes, on a treadmill, especially at my house. Um, oh, yeah. Before, but yeah. are you going to are you going to make a push for the cardio club this year? I don't know. How, how far do I got to run? <laughs> You don't have to. All you have to do is is make the commitment to do ten. I, I think it's going to be ten again, but do ten of the um, uh, BBM drafts while doing cardio. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that's just walking doable. on the treadmill. Yeah, that sounds doable. Yeah, I know you're more of a daily guy than a best ball guy, but uh, you know, T box cardio club this year. Yeah, I'd, yeah, definitely more of a more of a uh, daily guy than a than a. Uh, Best ball guy. I've got a couple, a couple uh, MLBs done, maybe ten total, but like two of the. In fact, I can't remember what the names of them are. Perfect like the game ones. ones. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Perfect game's a nice structure. Very. Yeah, forgetting. I got two perfect games and the solo shot and eleven dingers, twelve dingers out there, a couple of eliminators, one mini eliminator. So I kind of covered the whole bases, but. 
I don't know, a couple hundred bucks, or no, actually probably three, four hundred dollars in there. That's about it. Yep, fair enough. Um, let, let's talk about some macro stuff here. It's been it's been a calendar year, full calendar year. You brought it to our attention that it was literally the first Friday of March last second. year, the second Friday of March last yeah. year, in which you were on the program for the very first time. And things have drastically changed because when we set yeah. that show up, we were firing emails back and forth. There was no social media presence. There was no nothing. And now you've kind of become this like pseudo cultural figure for uh, the underdog community on uh, on Twitter now. Uh, what was what all went into that? Why did you start doing it? What do you get enjoyment out of that? For? Yeah. So I, obviously, I just kind of kept to myself as far as this all went, and then. Rudman hooked me up with you guys and the, you know, a year ago and then whatever had did the show, had a good time. Um, watched you guys then, you know, a few times after that. And then um, it, it was when you guys did your, your list of the best players. And <laughs> I, I saw the episode actually, well, I, I didn't see it live. I played it after the fact. I'm like, Oh, I wonder who's got on this. And the fact that you guys mentioned me in the, like top four people kind of blew my mind and almost, almost kind of speechless, just the same way with this, with this contest that they're bringing up. I'm just like, I can't believe that people think of me that way. So um, I thought I have to say thanks. And I know I could have just probably plugged in your show and typed, Hey, thanks for putting me on there. But I, I thought, yeah, you know, I need to do something a little bit more. So sure enough, I joined Twitter throughout my first tweet ever of saying thanks to you guys i remember john john typing back crack that he's like quality first tweet <laughs> <laughs> and then and then rudman caught wind and he, he's you know quoted it and hey you got to follow this guy and blah 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 next thing you know i have 100 200 300 400 followers and very quickly and it's just like i can't believe that these people want to follow me and then i'm like well i'm sure they're just not following me for just to know who the hell I am. Maybe they want a little bit of info. So then I started releasing a couple, you know, pickums or this or that. And I don't know. Then I started getting crazy with it and posting a couple videos, <laughs> having fun with it. And, and I don't know, do, doing it for the bit. And I, it kind of cracked me up. It was one of Andy's crypto friends and I couldn't tell you who it was, but he's like, man, I'd love to party with uncle T someday. <laughs> <laughs> and I just like, hey, you know, what the, what the hell, you know, it's, it's kind of, it's, it's a good time. And so, yeah, so I'm just like, what the hell? I'll just put myself out there. And everybody is so nice. It's just, it's such a great community that you guys started. Uh, well, that underdog started, but you guys certainly played a role, play a role in. Um, and yeah, just kind of a lot of, a lot of online, I don't know, I'll call them friends, even though I've never met them in my life. Uh, they're just, mm -hmm. they don't seem like good people, good, good hearted people. Yeah, it's and amazing how that kind of like organically happens, right? Is we, you don't, when we first started this, like we have no idea, you know, the type of people you're going to get. You have no idea. Even the first time we had you on the show, we had no idea what to expect. We had no idea. And it's amazing that the further and further you go down the underdog rabbit hole, the more and more likable people emerge. You know, it's, it's amazing. Yeah. And I, I have, uh, I don't know, maybe 700 followers now. And, but I'll, I'll get, I, I don't want to say on a daily basis, but certainly weekly. I mean, I'll get people in my DMs and some of them wanted, I mean, a lot of them just want advice and, mm. um, you know, a couple of them certainly personal things. And I'm glad that they share them with me. And I've shared a couple of my own, um, uh, Johnny footballs is one that certainly comes, <laughs> comes to mind and they, they're good dudes, you know, and it's just, yeah, I, so yeah, I, I, I don't really care. I mean, I'm not going to tell you take this person. Or, you know, you're going to win right. money if you do what I say. Because <laughs> yeah, trust me, I, I, I'm other than last night, I'm kind of been in a rut, and it's just yeah. So, but I'll, but I'll, I don't know. Within reason, I'll do provide anything that someone <laughs> asks for within reason. Sure. Let's, yeah. Yeah. Right. Let's talk about some of that uh, that advice when people reach out to you, uh, just in general core, like. I mean, maybe not on a given night about a specific play or spot or something like that, but just kind of like macro kind of life advice associated with underdog. What do you say to them? Yeah, it was, a lot of them were when I when I put on Twitter that I was going to. Well, actually, I, 
I, at that time, I already was done. I, I haven't smoked for one week, and it was I was just not. I mean, just going going crazy. And <laughs> yeah, I think I put out something to the paraphrase it a little bit, but you know, for the people who battled addictions, alcoholism, whatever, just so much respect if they over, to overcome it because it's just nutty. And then I have people mm-hmm. who, hey, I haven't smoked in six years. I haven't smoked in four years. I, I'm going to quit along with you, that sort of thing. Yeah. And that was, that was pretty cool. And then, and then as far as games go, quite a few people, quite a few people reaching out saying that they were glad that I was on Twitter and that they, they kind of sit quiet in the background, which I get because that's what I was doing. Um, but the fact that, almost thanking me for being vocal and certainly thanking you guys too. They're, it seems like when they include me, they include you guys. It's like, you know, you and the badge bros, you and the badge bros or the badge bros and you. And it's, yeah, it, it's, it's flattering. I, I don't know. I, I respect it for sure. I love that you've leaned into the, to your, uh, your Twitter personality and your profile though like it just like it's so it's so awesome that you're not just like a a robot like yeah i draft and take your money every week like no like you are you're 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 just like us he's just like us it's great. yeah and one compliment i get a lot is they're and i don't know if it's maybe because i lost money that they won money but they're like i love i love when you because you know a lot of people post their victories which i get it you know you know stick your chest out or tout it i get it i did the same thing yeah. for this morning but mm-hmm. Not too often people put, I got hammered last night <laughs> and, yeah. and they, they, they like that, you know, not that I want to post that too much, but <laughs> you know, right. no. I'd rather win than lose, but you know, it's just that, I don't know if it just shows that you're human, I guess. Yeah, no, it's definitely humanizing and it definitely shows the reality of these games, right? Yeah, for sure. And they're, they're <laughs> tough and they are. I don't know, one thing I have found out about Twitter is Prior to me being on it, I really didn't have all this information that you guys all have. I mean, it's, I, I'll, I'll kind of play to the bit where I'm, you know, it's a pencil and paper. I mean, it's a little bit more than that, but it, it's really not. <laughs> and some of these spreadsheets and this and that and websites that you guys all put up and I'm like, oh my God, it, it, I mean, you, the people nowadays have so much more info than I thought they had. And I don't know if it's making me a worse player because it's sometimes I press on it. Like before I didn't even think about it because I didn't even know about it. And mm-hmm. now I see it and I'm like, wow, that guy's smart. Wow. That guy's smart. That guy's smart. And, and before I just, you know, it was just a, a dog name, you know, it was, it was rolled around. It was Nez. All right. Well, great. You know, not, right, knowing yeah. who they, not knowing who they are, but so now, yeah. I mean, there's so many better players than I am for sure. And just, it's, some of them lately just crazy the way they're winning. Yeah, no, it, it is wild to see the progression and like evolution of the game. Like what's changed for you the most, like just, you know, resource wise and the way the games are shaping over the last like year or so, what's changed in, in your process? What's changed in general? Um, What I find harder to win is say in 2020, 2021, 2022, even um, the contests were smaller and yeah. there just wasn't as many people. So I, I just, I felt more like a big fish in a small pond. And now the contests are so large that, I, I mean, even if you're someone who's winning once a month or whatever, that, that's still awesome because it, it's hard to, it's hard to win something when there's 18,000 people in it. Um, yeah. So I commend definitely Underdog and Hope and Numi and that for making making the contest just different amounts because if you're someone who only has $50 to spend every day, why go throw, I mean, if you go throw it, I mean, if you want to throw five bucks into, into the, you know, Thursday night hoops or, or Friday night hoops or whatever tonight, you know, so be it just to have a chance at it, but you're not, I don't know. The, the odds of you having 150 lineups and pulling a winner out is, is slim. If you just have one, but if you're only in a contest with three entries or five entries or 20 entries, I don't know. It, for those people, I think it's great to have those contests because they, mm-hmm. they have an opportunity. Now, with that said, I'm still joining those too. It's not like I'm <laughs> just leaving them aside, but um, yeah. So I, I hope they keep offering stuff like that. And, and obviously they'll, if they keep filling, they'll continue to offer them. So yeah, that's, exactly. that's, that's pretty cool. 
No, I, yeah, I fully agree with you there that it's great for the growth of the game because like the barrier to entry now is getting steeper and steeper. Like because when we first came into these games, it was like, hey, just click the app and oh, you know, you could get 16 baseball entries in or something. Now you got 20,000 people contest, you know, 10K up top, 100K prize pool. And people are just, you know, how many max enters do we think there are in NBA every single night? Like 20, 25 yeah. people playing I 150 lineups at least? Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I would, no, I would no, no. say that. I mean, yeah, you think about, I mean, I don't, <clears throat> I don't have the math on the top of my head, but that, that would, I would bet that it's probably like 15% of the contest. And how many of those people are in our discord, you know, <laughs> yeah. In the yeah. Yeah. Discord. like it's, it's really yeah. crazy. And I'm really excited to see, I know that the overlap isn't strong between hoops and baseball, but the growth of the platform and the growth of best ball in the MLB space has been like very noticeable. So I'm excited to see, what this like what this season looks like and how many max and like what are the max entries going to look like for baseball because someone like me i will be playing as many as like allows me per the contest so like i could see us getting to 135 this season and that is going to drastically change the games but i'm just really excited to see what the prize pools can look like for baseball this season because the growth is there uh, it's just a matter of uh what what we're looking like yeah and I mean, baseball, I remember what, you know, when they first started dropping stuff, like, and I think I said this last time I was on the show, but I mean, it was like six lineups max and then went to like yeah. 13 lineups max and then yeah, maybe 27 or whatever. But yeah, if, if, if I hope there's enough player to at least, you know, maybe a hundred maxes, you know, or the 135 seems to be, you know, works out for their numbers and the way they, with their pay right. and everything. Um, right. Yeah. They try to, they try to do like 135 for the smaller, uh, contest uh, the co smaller prize pools, so it, it's just a matter of how large we can we can get these things. And obviously, there's going to be a wide variety. There'll be the flagship, and then the the high dollar small entry. Uh, it, it's just the, everything's in such a great spot with uh, Hope and Numi, uh, you know, run, running the running things over there. So I'm just you know I'm 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 just really really stoked. And you know, I know that you've been a day one grinder in there as well. So just had to, you know, comment on just the way that baseball itself has grown because not a lot of people know, like you were just saying, it used to be just six entry max and I would be sweating those six <laughs> entries. Exactly. At, yeah. I'm at work and like, I have like a lull and I'm like, all right, it's time to get these six entries in and I'm playing against you and dark sheep. And like, and I didn't know who you guys were. Yeah. And just the way things <laughs> have just exploded is just like, yeah, it's like it was, it was oh, a huge crap, deal when we got a $25 big fly. Like it was a yeah. huge deal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They went back in the six. It's like, holy crap, I got $30 riding on this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and, you know, for, and whatever, first place was like 200 bucks. And yep. yeah. Modest. But, but it, it, was, it was fun. And yeah, baseball, I, I think baseball can be tough, but yeah, baseball is kind of still basic. And I, it is. I, I, I think, and I don't know if it's just because it's summertime and people are doing, doing stuff, but, you can be profitable in, in baseball because even if you take a one-off, uh, whatever, I took Christian Yelich today, and and maybe he's not set up to do great, but, you know, he can smack two homers in a game. He can smack one homer in a game, and that just puts you so up where, like, in basketball, it when the, when the, when the contest fields were smaller, you could have someone – scored 20 points scored 15 points and still not be out of it now right. now if you don't have all six players get 50 points or at least close to the 50 i mean five of them get at least 50 or more you, you're you're done i mean you're toast and and with baseball you can have aaron judge have a zero but you mm -hmm. might have someone that went two for four two homers and three rbis and 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 you're not out of the game so yeah, I, I hope people don't get discouraged for baseball because they just think it's so random, which it is kind of random, but it's it can randomly work in your favor, too. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. And it's the scroll the app down dream of a sport. You know, yeah. if you pick off that like late guy leverage, that's, you know, an ADP 60 or something like that, like you're light years ahead of the game, whereas in hoops, man, uh, especially on a slate like tonight, it's really hard to find anyone valuable past like 40, 45 ish. Right. It, yeah um and that kind of brings me to my point with the contest things too i am 
I, I don't know, maybe there's some people that don't like the little bit of switch that they did with the NBA, but I love it. Um, just because it, well, selfishly, there's so many people that live on the East coast and central time zone. Yeah. And, and, you know, don't no disrespect to the Californians or, or yourself. But, <laughs> um, I like to go to bed and know what happened without staying up till 1130 at night. And right. Mm-hmm. I just, I don't know. I am. I like it. Um, a lot of people may not Me like too. it. And I like, like tonight where they switched it up where the late games aren't included at all. And, and now, but they'll have their own slate and it kind of just gives you a, an extra sweat if you want it. Yeah, right. For sure. Yeah. I definitely see both sides of that one for sure. Yeah. You, I think, I think the time zone thing is just such a huge factor. Cause I didn't even think about the sweat aspect of it. When you put up that much money and you play that many games, you do want to see it through. Right. Whereas like yeah. I was always thinking, well, Hey, you know what? It's late swap. You guys can put your swaps in at seven o'clock and then, and then go to bed. But I guess yeah. you do want to see that sweat through, of course. Um, T box, we coined the 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 T box, the strategy that was the T box uh, ages ago, where you had super super condensed ownership, you had really exploitative exposures, and you were auto drafting the hell out of it. It yeah. kind of seems like you were a one of one back then, and now a calendar year later, that's how a, a vast majority of the players are playing right now. Has that changed how you play? Has that is that your influence on the games? What are your thought process with that? Stuff? Um, I don't know if it's my influence because I, I mean, I know we you stated that, but I don't know. I think people, I don't know, a lot of smarts out there that they can figure that one out on their own. Um, right. It's a it's a great strategy if it works. It's a horrible strategy if <laughs> if it doesn't. Um, it before well be. I liked it. I liked it when there was no ADP because I wouldn't even know. I, I mean, I, I would do my ranks, but I just wouldn't. You wouldn't really know what people are gonna 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 do. Now with right. the ADP, you kind of know what they're gonna do. So I find myself switching stuff up a bit. Like I'll run 20, 30, 40 lineups through, and if I'm sitting on 70, 80 percent of somebody, I will kind of dial them back a little bit. Because Ask Siakam. Like Siakam. <laughs> Siakam, Siakam, and Sangu- Sangoon. Um, yeah. Uh huh. I just, I don't know. I'm always, I'm always. <laughs> whatever I do, it just, I don't know. The, the it, it loves those people. I don't know why. And <laughs> yeah. I, and I, now I, I have my favorites too. Yeah. I, I think because I put a lot of stock, and probably to a fault, too much stock in in game totals and I do it, I do it for baseball as well. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times, like right now with Siakam playing on it on Indy, their game totals are always just huge. And yeah. yeah, I think that's why when I plug him in to the, to the thing I created, um, he just, he always grades out higher than he probably should. But with that said, I'm like, ah, no, that's what the sheet says. Put him in, <laughs> put him in. Who, who, so- might, who might argue it? What what okay? Can you give us a peek behind the curtain? What goes into the T box sheet when when you spit that out? You said you might be a little high on game totals, but what what other metrics do you normally look at? Um, well, I don't see. This is going to be a fault of my own too. I don't pay for any other than you guys. You're, you're the only thing I pay for five dollars a month. <laughs> wow. So, to you guys. Wow. I don't. We're honored. I, yeah, I don't pay. I mean, I hear, and I'm not. I'm not down cutting down ETR or whatever. Sure. Mm-hmm. I just, I don't subscribe, but I hear everyone just ETR, ETR. They're the best, the best, the best. And I'm not denying that they are, but I think it's a little advantage to me that I don't look at it at all. So I don't even know what they say that a lot of people are getting their input input from. And they probably crush it and all that, but I don't pay for anything. So the only things I look at are free sites. Mm-hmm. I look at like Rotowire. I look at a thing called Daily Fantasy Fuel. I look at um, Roto Wire, uh, what the hell, that? and just like FanDuel and, and DraftKings. Just look at that. So I look exactly. at their, those projections that way. I put a lot of stock into. I know the recency recency bias can can kill you. However, I do almost like 
I look at it more as not what they did last night. It's what they did the last five games in NBA. Mm -hmm. And I think I get a better read on it that way. Um, I also definitely need game totals. Um, Q tags are so weird. I mean, sometimes a Q tag <laughs> is, I don't know. I just, I wish, I wish they would do almost like baseball does where an hour and a half, it's like, is this guy going to play or not play? It, right. Know, don't, at least baseball. I mean, you don't, may not get info until an hour and a half prior, but they'll give it to you. And I, I don't know. I wish basketball would do that. So Q tags are figured in, back to backs figured in, either front end or back end. Um, what's what the defense that they're playing against uh, as far as like a, a rating um you know how's this defense fair against point guards and do i want this point guard kind of thing so i i, I, I mean i throw all that in mishmash it up um sort it and there i go so it's how many yeah, times will little, you adjust that during a day i definitely adjust it on q tags um mm -hmm. And not only the Q take, like, oh, John's no, John's no questionable at 130. So, you know, I'll, I'll lower him down, but obviously lowering him down, there's someone else that's going to benefit from him not being there, especially in basketball. Um, yeah. Ba you know, baseball is still a, kind of a one-on-one -on -one sport, pitcher versus batter. So, yep. but basketball, basketball is definitely the swap. It, it makes a huge difference as far as minutes played. And that's another yeah. thing, points per minute, figure uh, – Look at that too, for sure. What but, about yeah, for, then, um, for for when yeah. you do have swaps? Are you making um, like minute moves with your swaps, or are you just leaving your rankings as is and taking best player available, or are you being really mindful of exposures when you set swap ranks? I'm I'm still kind of best person available because if you could. Now this would be time consuming and, and under, I know underdogs kind of their shtick or their selling point is to make it easy for everybody. It's not to make it difficult. And that's, that's why they're doing so well because any Joe Schmo can come on in and have some success. So, I mean, unless there's a way to do it, but I haven't figured out you can't swap per contest. No, no, no yeah. you can't. But like so, sometimes I'm like gonna be way more mindful of like exposures or like who who is actually out that I need to swap for, um, where like I will like kind of make you know I'll wait different things as opposed to just like projections. So I wasn't sure how you kind of approach like swaps because everybody does it differently. Yeah, I, I mean it's to me it's still best player available, but if someone is now out, someone that I may have not had in my top fifty is now one of the best players available. So. Mm -hmm. I, um, Giannis and Bobby Portis. I mean, Bobby Portis, you know, he, yeah. can, he can crush it some nights, but other than that, he's kind of middle of the road. But if Giannis is out, you know, Bobby Portis goes from a, a 50 player to a, to like a 25 player or 25 rated player. So there'll be players that I don't even have in my rankings that now I'm adding. And I do everything on, I kind of, I do everything on my phone. So I know a lot of people draft off their laptops or whatever, and I'm, I'm definitely a phone guy. So that new update that they did with the ADP and all yeah. that, I, uh, you, I you haven't seen it I, yet. Yeah, I have not seen it yet. It looks cool as hell though. Yeah, it's coming to mobile soon, so that'll be epic. I mean, that's a that was probably the one zero one on everybody's list to number one improvement people wanted to see in draft games. So getting it is a is a huge win. Yeah, <laughs> um, yep, that was one of them. Though I always and I kind of touted this from day one, and whether it ever happens is. I wish I could just mass enter. And I know some people have tools, tools that they could do that on. Um, I, I, I've gotten offered the tools, I but it doesn't work on an iPhone. That's kind of what I use all the time. So, I mean, I I still manually hit those buttons all the time. And and you always push the plane. Noted, yeah, I, noted I, service. I Thank you for your service. Yep. And what, what makes me kind of justify it is now their rake back program. So it's like, well, okay. If I gotta push all these buttons and you're gonna pay me the rate back, I will just we'll call it even. So that's I love that. It's, it's almost like they're paying paying me to push the buttons. Which, by the <laughs> way, that rate back stuff is is phenomenal. I it is phenomenal. It is. I mean, because they did not have to do any of that, and I, I mean, I, I mean, now I play a lot. I get it, but I mean, I've been getting you know two to three thousand dollars a month back in rate back. 
and then and then I what really sets this will I'll try to say this without throwing someone or not throwing someone under the bus, but saying too much about it. So they offered they offered at least for me they did, and I assume I'm not the only one. It was last week where if for about four or five six days if you did pickums you got a certain percentage back like five percent mm-hmm. or whatever, and yeah. it was it was Gator that sent me a text and said hey you know we're going to do this and then he says about this click on this button well for some reason I did not have the button available I'm like well I can't really opt in to do this and he's like well we'll get you covered we'll get you covered so anyways the let's just call it five days the five days went by and this is where underdog just the the company of the people is I then texted Gator and I said, Hey, I, I think I ran, I don't know what, 800, 900. No, no, it's more than (laughs) (laughs) 3000 or whatever dollars through. Anyways, I got it like $125 back on this little promo. Yeah. And I get a response back from him and he's like, I'll make sure that it happens. He goes, I'm, I'm, like going to be out of, I'm out of the country and soon to be going off the grid on a camping trip. So here's a guy who's out of the country going to go off on the grid. I tell you right now, if I'm on vacation, I'm, I'm not responding really to anybody. Yeah. And he yeah. responds no. to me. It's just like, are you, are you kidding me? And I, I don't know, just shit like that. Cause like, obviously DraftKings is, you know, I mean, you can get stock in DraftKings. So you know, they got shareholders and FanDuel. I'm not even sure who even owns these companies. Mm-hmm. But yet, underdog, I could tell you the owners. I could tell you who the direct people that I speak to, who the people under them that I speak to, and it's just it's it's insane that they. It's just like everyone's your buddy, and it it yeah. it's, it's I love it. I love it. It's it's not it's like not even a company. It's almost like I'm just playing against you guys because I'm just playing with my friends. And right, I don't know. They all did something right to get this big, and but still, I feel like it's just my home league. It's it's kind of mm. <laughs> it's kind of awesome. That's a great analogy. Yeah, yeah. They they really do go above and beyond customer service. As somebody that came from like a support background from another uh, company, um, like the work that they do and like their communication and stuff is like top notch. It's something that like I I will like definitely uh, you know support and be like a vocal uh, you know sponsor about. Is like I know they do good good, good work because I've seen what goes on behind the scenes for these, these support teams and, and, and they like they're top notch. So I, I, you know, I'm just fully there with you. It's a really good, really good shout for, uh, for them. Yeah. And, and back before they filled, filled these positions and it was, I don't know, Rudman was really the guy I went to. And um, yeah, there was times, you know, going three, four years ago and they're, they're in the process and yeah, they'll have little glitches and I'm like, Hey, this guy didn't get swapped, you know, just, Hey, Rudman's text him. You know, because I wasn't on Twitter at all, so it was it was phone text. Um, you know, this guy didn't swap and whatever, and he's like, "Yeah, well, I'll I'll, I'll look into it. And we'll make it right." And sure enough, within like thirty minutes, it, you know, they reimbursed me the whatever the fifty dollars awesome. I was out because this guy was in my lineup and something went glitchy. It's just like, here's your fifty bucks, and yeah, yeah it's just, well, oh, well, thanks, man. <laughs> you know, yeah. as opposed to going over and over through a customer service thing and 48, 60, you know, 64, 96 hours later, you don't even have an answer to anything. And I don't know. They're just, yeah. I they mean, hired the it, right people for the right positions and it's, it's working out great for them. As you can see that they're the way they're growing. I mean, and hopefully Wisconsin, I mean, we can, we can bet like say on football spreads going to the casino, but I don't want to drive 20 minutes to go to the casino to put a, put a bet down. But right. hopefully someday Wisconsin gets that way, and and uh, you know underdogs there, and like they're going to be doing in North Carolina. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think this is going to be like a common thing, like Matt Scal bringing up that you know will they abandon the draft game and stuff. I think the fact that they've invested so much in this community that it's that it's never going away. Like I don't think yeah. it matters to underdog that they don't make as much money from DraftKings as they make from Pick'em and Sportsbook and stuff like that because I think they recognize, and this is the big difference between them and some of the other companies, is they recognize that this is the lifeblood of their platform, that they have people that want to get together community-wise like we're doing right now, like this community is built around. I mean, we're all going to still play those other things as well, but the lifeblood that brings everybody in is the DraftKings, right? Yes. I, I would agree. I I mean, I'm, I'm here for the draft game and 
when I'm complete and then I want to do a pick them, that's when I, you know, just whatever, flop over and do a pick them. But I, if I didn't have the draft games, then I don't know. I, I would, I mean, I, you know, love underdog. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> but, <laughs> um, but yeah, if they didn't offer draft games, I'd, I'd, I guess I don't know. What, what yeah I no i i mean from from my vantage point it's like you think of just our community just the people that are in discord watch our videos keep a lot of money on the site you know like there's a lot of cash on the site and by having the goodwill and having these games that people are able to realize their edge in and like andrew said who he, he's a gn gpc or something on underdog draft we 32 mess that teams. one up every time <laughs> whatever <laughs> come change your name bro draft 32 <laughs> teams um Underdog draft games are a great way to realize your edge without like the risk that you need to put up and without the swings that come with other like daily fantasy. And just the, the, the draft games keep such a dedicated user base on the site. Like we're doing a little bit of underdog glazing right now, but that's because they treat us well and they treat everybody else. Well, everybody yeah. else. Well, but that goodwill when sports books eventually make their way to the rest of these customers like that like we're gonna play that <laughs> like we are gonna right. play the hell out of that and probably way more than any other book because we know the ux and the ui is gonna be top notch we trust the people that are running these games like it just makes so much sense for them to just continue to like give these games the improvements that they have like for people that are kind of missing the forest for the trees on that, like I, I you know, I, I just can't really say enough like what the draft games do for the people that play them and how well and how long like these improvements would go towards like their their bottom line, even if it isn't something that you see immediately. So like hats off to them for actually like adding the ADP uh sorter versus versus ranks and and adding in rake back, like it's going to go a long way for them. Like, and, and so is like supporting us and our community in the way that they have, it's going to go a long way. Yeah. And I don't, it, to me, it's like, it's not like, Oh, it's, it, it's perceived that they like us as customers. I mean, they obviously they want the rake. I mean, I get why, I mean, they're a business, but I don't take it as that. It's, it's weird. It's mm -hmm. the way it all got set up. I yeah. just feel like, yeah, I think I tweeted this one time too. It's like, you know, I, I have some Jeeps, I, or I have two Jeeps and I have, you know, a couple of iPhones or whatever. And it's like, I see a commercial by them and like, well, whatever, but I'll see an underdog commercial on TV. It's like, Hey man, they, I know those, guys. <laughs> those are my guys. Yeah. Those are the, that's me. That's me. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. Or, or I hear it on the radio and it's like, yeah, it, it's, their customers are a part of their family and legit. Right. Yeah. yeah fully agree. Um, what do you guys say? We, we give them a little business right now. Why don't we, uh, T box first time you were on, we just did some talking, uh, of, you know, macro stuff. Let's, let's, let's get a draft in together. I know, I know you want us to just fire up and push the plane, but I say we just do this, uh, <laughs> manually together today. Yeah. I, I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> 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 what's, what's a manual? Um, yeah. <laughs> Let's 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 talk about the NBA slate tonight. Uh, what, what do you like right now? Just just in general, what are you feeling, Corey? I, I mean, now looking at the things. I mean, I I just looked at my exposure. I must have been Bogdanovich. I just must have been crushing him in the sixth round. Cause I have fifty one percent of fifty one percent of him right now, and okay. which I looked at his ADP before, and it's not like he's sitting in the like 32 33 and i'm just like getting them no he's 28 right now yeah i'm obviously but you like the you like the spot versus Atlanta? on him a lot more than than a lot of people okay um but yeah it, it's kind of a weird slate because there's no there's no game that's just crushing it in total i mean they're kind of you got two crap ones and whatever i think a lot of it'll be if uh anthony edwards plays tonight and how that'll all shake out, but yeah, I, honestly, I don't know. one of the best performances by any player I've seen all year. I watched that one wire to wire last night. Yeah, that game was incredible. He, I mean, he he might be my favorite guy to watch in the league now. Yeah, um, yeah, this is gonna shock you guys too, <laughs> blow your mind a little bit. 
Oh yeah, I, mean, I, I know what's coming. <laughs> I really don't. It's kind of embarrassing to be able to say on the site. I don't really, I don't really watch sports much at my house because my wife is probably more normal than you think. My my wife is not a big sports nut um, at all. So I can't like even Bucks games are during commercials. Last night, last night I watched the state of the union address. (laughs) So that's, that's how boring my life is. Um, (laughs) But yeah, it's, Someone asked me that it was via Twitter one time. They're like, say it isn't so. And I'm like, yeah, I really, I really don't. So I am definitely the never sweat guy. Um, oh. I'll, I'll check, I'll check, I'll check, I'll check to see how I'm doing maybe on the top of every hour. Um, you know, seven o'clock, I don't know, am I up or down, eight o'clock, am I up or down? But that's about it. I don't really, I don't, I don't really live and die, especially in basketball, because you could, Baseball is awesome because you can live and die by the shot, but you can see every shot. And if it's a home run, I mean, it just moves you way up. Where in yeah. basketball, a, a made shot or an assist or a rebound, I mean, it's not really moving you up the up the ladder too much. But like a home run is, is that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, that, but, that, that's a good that's a good show because if you live and die on every rebound, every every assist, every whatever, like night night overnight, that that could kill a man. <laughs> Yeah, and I yeah, exactly. And I you know yeah, I, I was I was sweating Oh yeah. sorry, I was just gonna say I was sweating Terry was your points last night at the uh, Heat Mavs game and everyone was like like I get, gave myself a little fist pump and then everyone's like what are you like like why are you why are you excited about that? I was like oh yeah, no, no, sorry, I forgot wrong team, wrong team. I don't wanna <laughs> let everybody know how gross my interests were. Yeah, I watch I watch <laughs> lo- local sports during commercials and then on Sundays, I mean during football season, I mean I'll have football on all day, you know, Packer game and, and go from there. But yeah, I just, I, I don't know. I don't really sweat too much. And it, it's kind of weird. Cause I have a lot of, a lot of money, a lot of times riding each night and it's just, yeah, you know, whatever. You know, <laughs> I, I, I hope I'm going to be up and if I'm not, well, I better be up the next day. Love it. Um, we got some, we got some, uh, some people vying for Mount Rushmore. We got some members of Mount Rushmore. In the chat, we got to hit this one now that we're pivoting to hoops right now. Man, A Rosen been on another level. Uh, Alan here hanging out in the chat, took down the main last night there. Uh, Crutches took down two side contests hanging out. John Boy Beats had two inside the top five the other night. Um, uh, aforementioned uh, Andrew GPN GC. Uh, chopped up the dad last night and a top three in the main. Uh, NBE sold, took down the main uh, back-to-back nights. I think it was Monday yep. and Tuesday. Man, just dominant stuff. And then the Puck Streets, Sam Olson and uh, our guy Willis taking down some contests in the Puck Streets there. And, oh, yeah. oh look at this. Andy saying he took down the full-court press, too. So big shouts <laughs> to to everyone there, man. Incredible stuff. Yeah. No, they are, like, it's Alan Rosen, right? If I yeah. Said yeah. It okay. Yeah. That I don't know. He's insane, and you know he's got the same Abby as I do. So, uh huh. Um, we're, we're team. We're, we're team Orange Poodle. But Poodle gang. Yeah. You know. I, so every once in a while, I'll flip over. And I'm like, ah, ah, it's not me. <laughs> you know, it's in the top. <laughs> of That's him. So, yeah. No, a lot of people just been crushing it, and I don't know if a lot of them are. I mean, not they're all they're not all new. Don't get me wrong, but man, there's just some people coming out of the woodworks this year and just yeah. dominating it. And yeah, I don't know, like the where I was saying before with just like spreadsheets and the stuff that I can see people create, and like the, like the baseball guys, the base baseball baseball that guy, yeah, and, yeah. and Chris and Dark Sheep and the. Tuma and the, all the spreadsheets that they have, and it's just like, oh my god, they just have so much more data <laughs> than I yeah. than I could even comprehend. I think um, <laughs> so. There's just so much, yeah. So many people are just way smarter than me, and I I don't know. I I respect every one of their games. It's it's for sure. Likewise, and, and obviously, I mean, that... I mean, you're you're giving giving shouts and, and compliments to to people's intelligence, which is like, of course, like we love having these people in our community. But and you're you're obviously a smart guy. I know you're just giving props. You don't need it. What's cool about this is like, you don't need all that to have success. You know, like there are nights where like, I don't look at a single projection 
I just go off what I believe and like, and I will like prop it, you know, like that's, what's so cool about these games is like, you don't need that. You don't have to be the most advanced person in the weeds, in the data with the tools to, to still win. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, I'll see it on Twitter and some of the lingo too, like what I'll ask you guys, what the hell it's, it's like my favorite word. And I only found it out on Twitter and I don't know what the hell it means. Slappy. What the hell's a slappy? <laughs> it's like, oh my god! It's, 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 it's what it's what it's what Crutches calls any play that he wasn't on, uh, okay. uh, that that the other people were on that gets home. That's basically oh, okay. what it is in layman's terms. <laughs> so if I'm yeah, so if I'm not on, if I'm not on Giannis and a bunch of people are on Giannis, they're Giannis slappies. Yeah, yeah, like like to like today you can say uh, who's. The biggest slappies would, today. I'm a Bogdanovich would, slappy. <laughs> there you go. There you yeah. go. Nice. Love it'd it. be so, like a, last night. It'd be like last night, Miles Turner in the sixth round. It doesn't usually apply yes. to someone that's like a, a like a top end play. It would be like someone that everybody's okay. consolidating around that we collectively think's bad, but everyone's consolidating around. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah the, just... Crutches has a good example in the chat. Do you remember when uh, Dante <laughs> wow. was like, a, or Josh Hart? Josh Hart was a top 10 pick like the yeah. other day. Yeah. He was. Slappies. Yeah. That was the yeah. slappies at work. Yeah. Crutches is awesome. Crutches and Andy and Johnny Footballs and Jewish McCaffrey. Yeah. And I don't know. There's so, so, they're so nice to me. And if I ask them something, they're like quick to respond. And it's, it's pretty cool. I like those yeah. guys. Yeah. Really, really good people. Yeah. For sure. Um, Let's rip a draft and then let's build the official T box pick them because I know we got kind of like a hard out here. Um, mm-hmm. We could talk about some of the other plays you like on the fly here. Let's, um, you know what? Pump fake everybody. Oh, John. Yeah, I'm an asshole. Um, let's do <laughs> let's do the crossover. Let's do the crossover because we could fill this bad boy. Two more spots. Oh. Ho, ho. Yeah, hard slappies out again today. They are. They absolutely, they absolutely are. I know. Yeah. It's, it's it's a fun word to say, slappies. Like, it is. It's just, it's just just fun to say. <laughs> Influencer one on one. Holy shit, we got the goats of all goats all in here. Wow, man. DJ Maz, he bredged in the wrong room, buddy. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> what this I is gonna know. be irritating because JPB's at the corner, so we got like a whole minute to burn. Every single yeah. time he's on the clock, because he needs to take he needs to take after the Godfather and start pushing the damn plane when he's yeah, ready. It's, commi- it's a commitment. Don't get me wrong, but I don't know. I, I just it's a lifestyle choice. Drafts as I'm in, if I didn't push the plane, I people would hate me. I would just be like, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Ah, ah. So I don't know. <laughs> I do it. No, no, you're right. You're right. That you would, you would, you would not have this like awesome rep that you have exactly. if you yeah. were a clock bleeder. It'd be like yeah, exactly. we have T box on, and now we're gonna shine the light in your face and interrogate yeah. you. Like, why don't you exactly. push the plane, buddy? Push it. Yeah, push it. <laughs> All right. Are we SGA at one today? I am. Yeah. All right. Love it. Let's do it. So I'm curious. For me, like the, I mean, projections will tell you that Dejounte Murray is pick number two today uh who do you have are you willing to give us the peek behind who your number two is today i think that's an interesting conversation yeah my number two i actually started out the day with my first couple drafts of doing murray and then noticed not that i got a ton of murray but i got i did i got nothing of jerry jackson i got nothing of edwards so i kind of altered that a little bit I've moved Edwards to two, but I would put Murray two after the Edwards Edwards Q take right now. Right. Even if it's just because the field is going to react, right? And you don't want to be super, super overweight and kind of let R and G help smooth out those exposures because people are going to start taking Murray at two, maybe not even because of projections, just because the fact that they don't like the Q tag. Yeah. Yeah, so here we go. He's going to take his time. GA dropping some puck knowledge in the chat. It's a NHL trade deadline right now coming to a close. Yeah. Speaking of NHL, I, I had a fun week doing that. <laughs> it, 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 it's a fun game. Is it not? I had one good night and I'm like, Oh wow. This is simple. 
I think I think I end up I think I end up losing a thousand bucks over the week. It was like it was just stupid. <laughs> Huh, that was an interesting turn for JPB, if I do say so myself. Um, he goes with Bridges, who is like the projections darling today, uh, versus ADP, and then goes Bam. And Bam is, uh, you know, a bit of an ADP darling by a few spots, but not necessarily by that much from what I've seen. So that's that's kind of interesting that he did that. Never Bam. Bam let me down big time last night. Yeah, big time. Same. I mean, that was a nut matchup too. I love yeah. targeting uh, teams against the Mavericks, especially once I, he knew that Gafford and they were going to switch the center role. Like Gafford yeah. was going to start. I had Bam. I had Bam rated eleven. Oh wow! Last night or today? Oh, I got him. Today, today. Today. Okay. All right. Who are we going to pick at this turn here? Inthrius gave you a shout out earlier. He's uh he's 15 years smoke free. He wanted you to know. Hang with Atta it. Boy. Um, all right, we got Ben Carroll, we got Zion, we got Chet. What what are we doing here, T Box? I am I am definitely Ben Carroll. Okay. Looking at my dealio here. And I am Zion. Okay. So we're playing the hits right now. I'm a big Zion guy, and I'm a big teams against 76ers guy, so I'm going to have a ton of Zion uh, so long as the room lets me have it. Do you have in your sheet a column, yes or no, if somebody's playing at the Garden, and are you giving them a bump if certain guys are at the Garden? I, I do not have that column. Because <laughs> I think Bancaro at the Garden is uh, – I think that's worth. I think that's worthy. Bancaro is a, a rising star. The, the Magic are like quietly having a really nice season. Yeah, for sure. And I, I see you tweet this too, Nez, and I mean, you're tweeting it because it's it's obvious, but I really didn't think about it. The, the Pelicans games are just blowouts all the time. And it's like, I mean, it can be a three point, you know, the, the starting line, three points either way. And it's yep. never that. It, it's, it's crazy. They win by 20, they lose by 20. It's, it's, it's weird. Yeah. And, you know, that can can you know it can happen tonight <laughs> you know yeah, it could yeah. very very easily happen tonight against the sixers so or yeah yeah against the sixers so it's 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 interesting we got uh the champ from last night pushing up tobias to 15 what do you guys think about that with maxi out etc I, I i still like it personally what about you t box i have i have tobias at six at 16 so he's right in there oh. yeah yeah fair enough yeah, well, it's tough for me because I don't know that I can take him. Like, I don't, I want equal amounts him and BI. And I, you know, I love the spot for BI against the Sixers, too. Uh, so I got to like be really cognizant of, of those two back to back like that. Yeah, looking at this, too, like Bancaro is obviously a popular player, but I only have 6% of them, which is weird. So he could crush me. <laughs> and I, that's what's tough, right? Is to like stick to some of those fades and not like halfway, um, like back out of a certain play. You know, I do. I used to do that a lot. And lately, you know, I've been better about sticking to my guns. Are you ever like one that's like, you ever get sheepish when you see like, like you're low on a guy, like, you know, that's what's weird is I, I, I only ever really checked if I'm high on a guy. I never really check if I'm low on a guy because the, the, that's fair i'm only probably low on a guy because i was high on a different guy so if i kind of alter him makes the low guy in play so I, I don't really i don't really do that at all i ran 50 autos yesterday to start my day and i ended up with like 32 percent staff and i was like oh my night's over oops Yep. <laughs> yeah. We got to watch out next slate because I think he's going to have a Q tag next, next slate. And uh, I doubt he plays. Yeah. But if you have 32% stuff, just keep in mind that there's 68% of the lineups out there that also have stuff that you don't have stuff. In. So <laughs> don't, you got to look at glass half full there. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Oh, I love that. <laughs> All right. We're coming up in a second here. Um, Ken Williams going high. Brendan Miller going high today. Yeah, Garland being Brandon pushed Miller. up. Yeah, I've only yeah. ever I've I've done one draft so far. Actually, I was going to ask. Okay, let's make these picks here. 
Box, we are at uh, 24. Franz, Vince, Jordan Pool Party, CJ, Kelly Oubre. Yeah. The next two, like? the next two you have on there left that are on my list are Vince Williams and, and Franz. Okay. Love it. Love me some Vince Williams tonight. That versus Atlanta. Memphis is depleted as usual. Yeah, what's weird too is I kind of like Garland. I have 24% of them, but I also like him on a lower that I took in a on a pick em. <laughs> so Yeah. It's like, I don't know. Damn if you do, damn if you don't, I guess. Right. For yeah, sure. playing both sides of that. Um, Numi dropping some nuggets here. The dad is live. So as you guys can see, Josh was saying in the chat there, he's asking where Giannis, where Sangoon, where whatever. Uh, jump in there and draft the dad if you want to draft uh, Milwaukee and you want to draft the Rockets because they will oh, be on the late I, plate. I saw you put that on the screen. I can't see the chat, but I can see when you put it on the screen. I thought mm. Numi was referring to me. <laughs> <laughs> that is live. That the has been live, live for an hour. It works on two, it works on two levels. <laughs> By the way, sweet haircut, Newby. I like it. Oh, yeah. I know, right? It looks like a oh, grown up. That's funny. I got a story with that too that I showed my wife. Oh, we you got thought it was yourself. Um, <laughs> so my wife, my, my wife was at the gym longer than me, and I don't know. This lady comes in that we know who it is. We call. I don't know. We we have a name for. Her. I don't want to say what her name is, but. <laughs> So, so anyway, she said that she's got a haircut. And I said, speaking of haircuts, you want to see a haircut? And I showed her on my phone the before and after of Numi. Yeah. And she goes, <laughs> she goes, isn't that that bro guy? Because I said, well, I said this guy, guy, I said this guy from, uh, that works for Underdog. So then I showed the picture. She's like, isn't that that bro guy? Because she saw the episode of last year when I was on. I said, yeah. I cannot believe that you remembered that. But yes, it is. <laughs> um but yeah, my, my wife thinks Numi looks much better with the short hair. Me too. Ooh, I mean, he looks like a grown ass <laughs> man now. Yeah. Before like, he was before he was like uh like gamer draft games yeah. guy and, and Not, now he's yeah. looking like yo, like I'm coming for Rudman's job. Yeah, yeah. Like he's gotta go mow a lawn or, or shovel snow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh, Crutch is doing the hand on the court research tonight. Do we know if there's going to be any baddies courtside in Washington? That would make it a Jordan Pool night. It certainly would. There's another term. Um, I don't know what it means, baddies. Uh, <laughs> some That's ladies. Good. He plays, That's good. He plays, yeah, some lookers. Oh, he, right. he he plays he plays better if there's some some good looking ladies courtside. Nice. We've noticed. Yeah, I don't. Have Who else? Problem. I don't have a column for that in my spread. <laughs> <laughs> Who else are you liking as a uh, potential scroll down or as a potential late round pick today, T-Box? Do you have... I like Bay, looking at your thing there. Yep. I do like Bay. I, I really didn't go much further down than, than uh, Trey Mann being questionable. Buddy, you never know, but eh. Yep. The Jovic Jokic still there. Yeah, I mean, Josh Giddy at one time was good. <laughs> yeah, what happened? Your yeah, son popped know. by to say hi. Yeah, right. What's up, Pops? Hey, hey how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> All, All right, right so is this, is this Trey Mann then, T-Box? Yeah, yeah, I mean, you got the Q take. I, 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 to me, it's smart. And if he gets swapped, he gets swapped. Okay, sounds good. I to like me. it. Who who would your swap option be for that one? Probably someone else on Charlotte. I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I think so too. Nick uh, Richards or someone. yeah, yeah. Hey, I got to run T box, but just once again, thank you so much for for hopping on and chatting with us, uh, giving us the the T box bump in the viewership today. Uh, see you in the streets, and hopefully get to talk again with you soon. Yeah, not a problem. And yeah, your your dad and I are our Twitter buds. <laughs> no way. Coach yeah. Nez followed you? Coach Coach Nez is yeah, he's been putting up like the Penn State whatever baseball lately. Oh, um, dude, he loves the team. That is that yeah, is amazing. No. I'm gonna have to ask him about that. He uh, he thought that you sounded like me when you did your Catholic Corey video. Oh, really? Yeah. He, he's like, he sounds just like you. I'm like, get your ears <laughs> checked, Nez. No, he does yeah. not. 
<laughs> yeah, no, but Coach, Coach Nez and I, yeah. We, yeah, we're we're buds. <laughs> That's awesome. I'll have to ask about that. All right. See you, everybody. Yeah, uh, later, see you, John. See you, Numi. Peace, buddy. All right, let's do this. All right. Congrats, Numi. What's up, Summer Numi? All right. Well, sorry, what would you say, T Box? I said congrats when you're going to be getting married this summer. Oh, thank you, thank you, sir. Yeah, that's uh, that's, that's why we needed the fresh cut. You know, uh, yeah. the 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 wife the 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 soon to be wife was getting on me. Uh, didn't want me looking <laughs> like a hobo standing up there with the uh, with, with with hair down to my freaking uh, <laughs> exactly. ribs. But yeah, uh, but yeah that, that's I fun mean, that uh, Nez, uh, our parents are just out there hanging out on Twitter, talking back and forth. That's fun <laughs> stuff. Yeah, I mean, I guess we don't converse, but I just see his stuff. Um, yeah, I didn't realize he was still in the coaching game and all that for baseball. That's pretty cool. Yep, Coach Nez. My dad hangs at casinos. <laughs> <laughs> My dad hangs um, at a brewery all the time. So yeah. <laughs> Uh, T box, let's build the official T box pick 'em of the day and then uh, tie a bow on this bad boy. So, how many are you doing? You're doing five. I, I, I'm open to whatever you want to do. I know you normally do three, do you not? I do three. I've been kind of thrown in because since they since they added like the decimal point ones, um, yep, because I, I don't know, I'm I'm big on hit rate and actually on roto wire yeah they actually have like an underdog thing with with hit rates and I'll, I'll look at that and then go look for myself to see how much if it's really true or not um a lot of their hit rates i don't like but but some of them that i do like today i like garland with the lower of 29 and a half points and assists okay i also like Alvarado, if that's how you say his name, I think Jose. Yeah, yep. I like I like him higher I'm on the six rebounds point. and assists, ten and a half. Okay, at least what I put mine in at. Yep. I also like Numi's not going to like this, but I like the Kyle Anderson lower on <laughs> points. Okay, and a half. Kyle Anderson's. I got, I got, I got, I got nothing for Kyle. He's not even getting. Be... I think uh, Ant's Q tag is going to uh, tick. So I, I got in earlier. I got in earlier at lower than nine and a half, which probably isn't good now <laughs> because of the Q tag. So, anyways, that's I don't know. I'm... I think Ant plays, but I, from from watching last night, maybe he hit his head too hard on the on the backboard uh, in that block. But yeah, Ant, was... the, the the foot seems to be fine. Yeah, he's. I don't know. I mean, obviously, I'm a Giannis guy, and they're different players, but yet they both seem kind of just tough and will just bull, bull you over if they need to. Ant, Ant making that block, running down and making that block, and then more or less falling on his side from the height of the net down. Yep. Yeah. It, yeah. It's just crazy. It's the greatest play in Minnesota, in Minnesota Timberwolves history. <laughs> we, we don't got much <laughs> to go for. That's it. A regular season yeah. block. <laughs> That's what we got. All right. Let's see if. Um, if the chat has one more to toss in here, because yeah. I don't want to do two, I want to do three here. Unless you got another one for me, T box. I, I, I have, have the a couple that I like with the with the lower percent things, the decimal points now that they've thrown in, but you know you're okay. not getting full value on it. Okay, that's all good. What what, what else are you what else are you looking at? I like Precious getting a block. Okay, he's got. I don't know. He's, it's like. 15 in the last 16 games or 17 in the last 19 games or something like that. He's got a, has a block. They got it at one and a half now. No, lower. I want the point seven. Oh, okay. So you want the lower on the one and a half there? No, 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 no. What am I doing? Higher. Higher on his block. Uh, they've moved block? it. They've Yeah, they've moved it to one and a half now instead of one. Oh, okay. Huh. No, that, I would not put that on then. Okay. See, I got I got in on it when it was just a half block, but I was getting like 0.7. Okay. What else Early we got? We're getting that worm. Yeah. I also like Capella lower than one and a half turnovers. Okay. Ooh. You know the turn the the whole turnover one. I wonder if they have that anymore. 
you're moving lines out here because now they're only giving us a higher option. Oh, there you go. One and a half turnovers lower. Lower. All right. Let's do it. That's all I got. If someone else has something, they'll throw it on there. Let's do this one. I like this. Right, oh, we got the champ from none. last night. Ooh. Wendell Carter Jr. double double spice. I mean, so that's right up your alley there, John. <laughs> spice. You're the Mark guy. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Spicy Marks. Wow, John is getting tipsy with that spicy Mark. Goodness gracious. I am. I am. But I can't, in good conscience, make a four. I have to make a five now. So I would just, you know, take the core, take the three, then take that three, and then add on an extra two. So a core and a five, three and a five. Okay. I saw someone, yeah, Levert, 13 and a half. Someone put that up there. We'll add that one in. Okay. So here's the T-box core. Split our buy-in in half here. One BBM entry on that bad boy. Okay, so the T the T box core is Jose Alvarado, uh, higher, Darius Garland lower, and Clint Capella lower. That's the core there, and then we're gonna add in last night's champ and Max Kings in here. So now, if I just take this. Sausage is being made. <laughs> Work it smarter, not harder. All right. We're adding those ones. And then the champ said Wendell Carter Jr. Yep. So, Numi, I assume in Minnesota, you guys have not had snow for a long time and almost green grass, right? Don't even know what it's like to have uh, white stuff on the ground. Yeah. Have never. Yeah. It's. Uh, <laughs> I mean, legit, it was it was fifty degrees out two days ago. Like I was yeah. sixty one a week and a half ago golfing, like on February twenty seventh. Yeah, yeah, we quite odd. same thing. I mean, we haven't pretty much since February have not. I mean, it's been green grass. We I don't even remember having snow like on the ground for longer than five days. Like yeah. I think we had it. It got cold, like that weird cold period for a week, and then yeah. there was barely any snow, and then it just melted away right again. Like it's. It's been the weirdest, weirdest winter <laughs> up here. Yeah, and I don't know. Obviously, I'm a little older than you, but I, I don't remember one like this at all. I mean, in my lifetime. In my 27 years, I, I mean, I, I can probably relax uh, probably the, what, 25 of them. Like, I, I don't remember anything like this. Normally, it's snow, and we're dealing with, uh, I mean, half the time I was dealing with snow while trick-or-treating. It would start snowing on, like, October <laughs> 31st, and then I'd play baseball. And if, if, if I was in baseball during this time for high school, we'd be out it would perfect. But no, no, no. Yeah. When I'm there, it's it's five, five feet on the ground, still mounds of snow. Yeah. They have to pull out the po- field. We're out there postponing games. It. Awful. Awful. Yeah. Such, such, such a joke. Like, give me this nice weather when I'm out there playing ball. I don't have to hit balls in a gym. <laughs> oh, man. Um, all right. So we added the T-Box core. So that Garland, Alvarado, and Capella won. We added Wendell Carter Jr. Uh, double double with the spice, which got my juices tingling. And then we uh, added Levert on the higher on the points to it and made a five way. And then I dropped that in the chat there. So those are the official T box and then the official community plus T box ones there. All right. Any parting words, final final shout outs, um, and uh, and a reminder for everybody that 100 days smoke free equals 100k rake free on the platform of the people in T boxes on honor on April 10th. So that'll be the hoop contest named after uh, Mount Rushmore himself. What's up, buddy? That is yeah, like I said, that's that's insane. Um, <laughs> no, yeah, appreciate that, and obviously I'll be. Yeah, I'll come on back. If you guys have me back on April 10th, I'll have to draft with you. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. All right, cool. And good luck. Good luck, everybody. Um, I'm sure I'll post a video every once in a while. <laughs> we appreciate your it. intro. Your intro today had me absolutely just <laughs> like 
the the term rolling on the floor laughing, I legitimately had a gut laugh. Like well, I, 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 I messed I DM Nessie. I'm like, yo, are we gonna get copies like copyrighted or whatever? Like a, like for having the music on it? Like this is hel- I I'm just dying. It was the well, best. it just it kind of sucked, or not really sucked, but it was so long, I, a minute long, actually a minute three, I was timing it to get to <laughs> to get to the like the second first, but I don't know. It all fit. Black. I'm back. It was the best. It was the best. Obviously, I freaking love it. Obviously, music from back in my day. So, yeah. <laughs> love it. I don't know. Do it for um, me. That's, that's what I just wanted to do is make someone laugh. So I did. And it worked. It worked. All right. Uh, on our way out the door here, best of luck to everybody drafting this weekend. Keep filling those dingers, the perfect games, the solo shots. Uh, keep filling up those hoops side contests as we go through the remainder of Today, best of luck to everybody in the Hoops streets tonight. And um, we'll be back on Monday. This will be a good weekend of drafting ahead for for everybody. So thank you so much, Corey, for joining us. Uh, Really look forward to the next time you'll be back with us on April 10th. On behalf of him, Nez, and Numi, Badge Bros, and everybody's favorite time of the show, the end. Peace.